I am on page 261. Today I'm going to cover powers and exponents. By the end of this section, you can write a product of whole numbers, fractions, and decimals as a power and write a power as a product of factors. Okay. To get started, we're going to learn some new vocabulary terms. A product of like factors can be written in exponential form using an exponent and a base. A number expressed using an exponent is called a power. The base is the number used as a factor. The exponent tells us how many times a base is used as a factor. So let's go ahead and look at this example. It says use an exponent to express a number of times 3 is used as a factor. So we have the base of 3 and it's being used 1, 2, 3, 4 times as a factor. So we're going to have 3 to the 4th power. So down here it says label each part of the equation using the words below. So when I look at this, I see the number 10 two times. So that is going to be my factors. So 10 are our factors. The number 10 is our base. When I read this, I say 10 to the second power. And that 2 is called an exponent. So what that means is when I have 2 to the second power, that means I'm taking the number 10 and multiplying by itself two times. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to page 262. It says write 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 using an exponent. So the base 7 is used as a factor. We see it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we can write it as 7 to the 5th power. Okay, let's go ahead and try this check. Write this using an exponent. So we see a base of 8, and we see it as a factor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. So that is written as 8 to the 10th power. Okay. Example 2. Write 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths using an exponent. The base 2 fifths is used as a factor 3 times. So it would be written as 2 fifths to the 3rd power. All right, let's go ahead and try this check. We're going to have one and a half. And we see it as a factor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So to the seventh power. Okay. I'm on page 263. To write powers as products, determine the base and the exponent. The base of 3 squared is 3, and the exponent is 2. To read powers, consider the exponent. The power 3 squared is read as 3 to the second power, or 3 squared. The power 3 cubed is read as 3 to the third power, or 3 cubed. And 3 to the fifth power is read as 3 to the fifth power. To evaluate powers, find the value of the power after multiplying. So complete the table for the first four powers of 5. So we have 5 to the first power. How, does that, how do we say that? That says 5 to the first power. That means we have a factor of 5 and a value of 5. That, what that means is we're taking the number 5 and multiplying it by itself just one time, so just 5. So this one I have 5 squared, 5 to the second power. So that means I'm going to take the number 5 and multiply it to itself two times. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 cubed. So you can write 5 to the third power or just write 5 cubed. Okay. So that means I'm going to take my base of 5 and use a factor three times. So 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. 5 to the 4th power, 
So I'm going to take my base of 5 and factor of 4. So 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So how I can put this in my calculator, instead of writing in my calculator 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, there is actually an exponent button we can use. So you're going to type in 5. And then there's this little caret button right here, diagonal from the 7, and then 4. So that means 5 to the 4th power. And I get 625. Okay. Evaluate 4 to the 5th power. Okay. They did this one for us. So let's just practice putting in our calculator. So type in 4 caret 5. And we get 1024. Okay. Now it says evaluate 8th to the 4th power. So let's practice that. 8 caret 4. We get 4096. All right. Page 264. Let's keep practicing. Evaluate 1 -third of the 4th power. Barry did the math for us. They plugged that in, and they got 1 over 81. Let's practice putting that in our calculator. So we're going to type in 1 ABC 3 caret 4, and we get 1 over 81. Okay, let's try this one. 2 fifths to the third power. Since these have parentheses around, I'm going to get in better habit of using my parentheses um, in my calculator. So let's go ahead and try it. Two fifths. So I'm going to write parentheses, two ABC five, so two fifths. And that one is two of the third power. So caret three. My answer is eight over 125. All right, let's go ahead and try two and a half to the third power. So two and a half to the third power. We get 15 and 625,000, which is what they got. All right, let's try the check. So we have two tenths to the fourth power. Here at four. All right, we're going to get 16 ten thousandths. All right, page 265. All right, Delmar is studying the growth rate of a specific type of bacteria. He places three cells in the Petri dish and records the number of bacteria over the time. He records the result over 20 hours in the table shown and notices a pattern. At this rate, how many bacteria are expected to be present in a Petri dish after 30 hours? So I'm looking at this table, I see a few patterns. On the number of hours, it is increasing by fives. So they want us to get to 30 hours. So if we're increasing by five, after 20, it's going to be 25, and then 30. When I look at the bit number of bacteria, I see that our factors of each base is increasing by 1. So we have a factor of 2, then 3, 4, and 5. So this one is going to be 3 to the 6th power, and this one's going to be 3 to the 7th power. If you don't understand what I mean, this one was 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd, 3 to the 4th, 3 to the 5th, so then I would have 3 to the 6th and 3 to the 7th. So all we had to do in this problem was type in 3 to the 7th power. And when I type that in, I got 2,187 bacteria cells. Right. 
And then last one on the next page. Faith is turning 12 this year. She asked her parents to give her $2 on her birthday and double that amount for her next birthday. If she continues this pattern, how much will Faith receive on her 20th birthday? So again, we are just extending the table. So she starts at the age of 12. We need to get to the age of 20. So 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. And then what's happening over here? The factors is increasing by one. So two to the first, two to the second, two to the fourth. This would be two to the fifth, two to the sixth, two to the seventh two to the eighth, and this would be two to the ninth power. So this is the one we were looking for. So two to the ninth power. Five hundred and twelve. Ooh, what a nice birthday gift for her 20th birthday. Five hundred and twelve dollars. All right.